Hey guys, my name's Jim, KN4YCD, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. In this video, I want to do a quick review of a meter I got. This is an SMD meter. This is the HP990C surface mount tester. Stick around. Okay, in this video, I want to do a review of the SMD tester I have here. This is from Hold Peak. This is a model HP 990 Charlie. I got this on Amazon for about $20. Uh, this will test capacitance, resistance, it'll do diode tests, and it will also test Zener diodes. It's made for surface mount devices, SMDs. Uh, it also has continuity and DC voltage, although as this is made for uh, surface mount devices, it is only DC voltage and it's only 36 volts. So you cannot plug this thing into uh, wall power or you will let the magic smoke out. Comes in a nice little plastic case. And, I, and I've already had this open, surprise. Comes with a set of leads. And these are very flimsy leads. Um, again, this is only for low DC voltage, so be advised, right? This is the actual device itself. This is the... Uh, as I said, the HP 990C. It has auto power off. And then it has uh, a function button to change between resistance, diode check, continuity, and uh, capacitance. If you're on that mode, it has a mode that does Zener diode check and then a straight DC voltage check. So I'm going to zoom us in so you guys can see this. And we'll take a look at it. All right, and I've already put uh, batteries in it. So you hit the function button to turn it on. And as you can see, it's already set in DC voltage mode, according to the uh, diagram over here, DC voltage, the little battery picture. The center function on this slider switch is the Zener diode check and then all the way to the left gives us resistance diode check and capacitance checks. <clears throat> also continuity on that mode. All right, so let me turn on the power supply, <clears throat> which I should have done before I got on camera, and ignore my phone. <clears throat> And let's hook up our leads to this. And see, this is interesting. This is reading minus 14 volts, and I have 5 volts DC right now. And if I swap the leads around to the other way, minus 14 volts, or positive 14 volts, rather. That's interesting. That is not what I expected at all, because according to the documentation, and it comes with a small pamphlet for documentation, this is DC voltage. Uh, as you can see on the little slider there, I'm all the way to the right, which is the little battery indicator, which is what they're using for voltage check. So if we go to the Zener check, yeah, this is, that's interesting. I don't even know what to make of that. I wonder if that switches. That's really weird. And now it says 24.76 volts and we're not hooked to anything. Can I clear that? Doesn't appear to be. This may be a short video. Now that says minus 24 volts and again the power supply is on 5 volts. 
on constant voltage mode. Huh. All right, well, this is going to be a short review because this thing is not wanting to work at all. Let me pop a battery out. And let's power cycle it real quick. <clears throat> it auto powers on when you put the batteries in it. And it came with batteries. It uses AAA. This was about $20 on Amazon. Alright, so now we're reading zero voltage. As you can see, and according to the label, we are on the battery testing, the power mode voltage check. The icon is a battery. I keep calling it battery mode. And that doesn't look like 5 volts. Alright, I just verified the power supply with another meter. And it is 5 volts. And as soon as I hook this up, we drop down to 0.69. Alright, well, that works. I, uh... I don't trust it. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I was going to do a real good review of this, but at this point I think we're done because this thing's got some issues. Um, neither one of the voltage modes work correctly. This is supposedly in Zener diode mode and it's reading 24 volts. And I don't have a Zener to test with. And then that's voltage mode, which is what it's showing. And as soon as I hook up, as soon as I hook up my power supply leads, that gives us minus five volts. And if I swap the polarity, which I would expect minus five, I mean it's DC, right? So you can have positive or minus voltage. And there it is hooked the other way and I have 0.6 volts. So that makes no sense at all. I'm going to call it a day with this one, guys. Um, this is a Hold Peak HP 990C SMD meter. I bought this on Amazon. It was about $20. I'm not going to have to, I'm going to be able to tell you not to buy this. I don't recommend this at all because um, this thing is, is 27 kinds of sketchy. The readings don't make any sense at all on it, which is a shame. And what this is for, and I, I have a. I have a Arduino board here I was going to demonstrate this with, but I, I'm not going to waste the time really showing. But what you do with this is I take this with a given SMD component, and then I can test it by reaching down and touching the surface mount component and getting a reading on, on what it is to see if it's a resistor, you know, resistor diode capacitor. I have to kind of know that to begin with, but <clears throat> to see if it's blown out or if it's at its proper value, so on and so forth. And at this point, I don't, I don't even trust this thing. I, I literally just put the batteries in it a little while ago and turned it on. It came on and I mashed buttons around without hooking it up to anything uh, with the idea of doing a review on it. But uh, no, this is, uh, this is no bueno. Anyway, well, guys, that's all I've got on this video. Please click like or, or dislike, either one. Um, and give me a, a subscribe if you're not already. It doesn't cost anything, and it'll make you feel better. And then make sure and hit that bell so you'll be notified whenever I post any other content. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.